Welcome back. This video is not financial advice and always do your own research. I have personally tried out a ton of different Telegram trading bots, but in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my absolute favorite, which is named Dispense. With this Telegram trading bot, you can quickly import, export, or create a wallet and it is multi-chain across ETH base, Binance Smart Chain, and Solana. They have a bunch of really cool features and customizations that you can do within the bot. Not only can you do simple buy, sells, and sends of any different token, but they also have limit orders, stop losses, etc. Regardless of whatever chain you are trading on, they have a discovery tab where you can check out the newest tokens that are listed on CoinGecko on each specific blockchain. You also can check out the different trending tokens from each chain as well. Then for the customization, they have MEV protect, buy and sell presets. You also can adjust slippage, network fees, and quick swap options. All in all, a really awesome Telegram wallet. And that's why in today's video, we're gonna be doing a deep dive into Dispense Cash so I can show you guys all around the wallet and all of its different features. So without further ado, let's hop into the video and see what's going on. things first when you do launch the dispense bot over on telegram you can see here what can this bot do swaps limit orders stop orders eth bridging and you can obviously discover new tokens across multiple different blockchains solana eth base and the binance smart chain when you first open the dispense bot you're gonna have two different options you can either create a fresh wallet or import a wallet from your metamask trust wallet etc so if you do want to start a fresh wallet go ahead and click create wallet after creating your wallet, it will look like this, a simple wallet name and obviously no funds in it yet. Once you click name here, you can actually put in a custom name. For this example, we're just gonna do example wallet. Once we hit enter, we can now see it is now named the example wallet. For this example, I'm gonna show you guys funding on Solana and base. So for my Solana wallet, I am sending Sol and for my base wallet, I am sending ETH on base. So now we have two different wallets set up. We have the base and Solana wallet. Obviously I could have both base and Solana in a singular wallet, but just to keep things nice and organized, we have two different wallets depending on the blockchain. While you're in your wallet, for this case, our Solana wallet, we can go ahead and check our recovery phrase in case we wanna import it onto our MetaMask or Trust wallet. So first up, we are going to go back to the Solana wallet. By clicking the home icon, now we can see all of these different options. We have buy, sell, deposit, orders, wallet, tokens, transfer, referrals, and discover. So for the first example, let's go ahead and make a limited buy. So we're gonna go ahead and click buy here. And next up, it's gonna say, send the token address name or symbol that you wanna purchase in the message. Obviously, sometimes there's multiple different tokens with the same token ticker, but here when we type in awoke, what's really cool, it is actually going to tell us the price as well as the market cap. So before it has you buy the token, it gives you all the statistics about it. So that way you know for sure which token you are about to trade for. So here you can go ahead and check the chart as well by clicking chart. It's going to go ahead and say open deck screener. We're going to go ahead and click open. So now that we're over here on deck screener, we can go ahead and see it is the correct awoke token. Right now they have been having a bit of a dip. So I'm definitely going to buy some of this right now. Market cap again, 2.4 mil over the past 24 hours down 47%. So we'll get a good bit of a discount here. So now that we know for sure, this is the correct token. Since we check the chart, now we can go back into the dispense app and buy the token. Now that we're back over here, we can see swap, limit, or stop. So you can actually toggle between each one of these depending on what you're trying to do. We are right now trying to swap. Again, you can swap between buy or sell just like so. And you also have 100, 200, 500, or custom amount. Because we are wanting a custom amount, we're gonna go ahead and click here. And here you said enter the amount in dollars. We have a few different examples here. For this example, let's go ahead and do $20. So we're gonna type in 20 and then hit enter. Now what you'll see at the bottom is review swap. So we're gonna click review swap and it's going to load us up with all of our information here. So for Soul, it is 0 0.095, which is $20 worth of Soul, and that's gonna gain us eight awoke tokens, approximately $19.12. Slippage for this set at 3%, and then you also have a very minute network fee of around five cents USD. So now that everything looks right, all we have to do is click swap now. And by doing so, bada bing, bada boom, transaction successful. You can go ahead and check 
view transactions. So here we are on SoulScan transaction details. You can see the signature and all of the information here. All right, guys, so now with this out of the way, we can go ahead and click dismiss. By clicking the X button here, that's gonna take us back to the main screen. So we can see the Solana wallet in total is at 102.70. And that is because we have a few different tokens. So when we hit tokens there, it's gonna show us everything that we have. Right now, $83 in Sol and 1912 of the Awoke token. Now another Solana token that I'm a big fan of that was also featured in my top five video is Nobody Sausage. And so we're gonna go ahead and just type in Nobody, hit enter, and it's gonna go ahead and load that token for us. We can see right now, 62 mil in market cap, plus 5% over the past 24 hours. Now we can go ahead again, click chart, just so we can make sure it's the correct token. As we can see here, it is indeed nobody on soul, and you can see the little characters here. We have about 62 mil in market cap. So everything looks just right. Now let's head back over to Telegram. So now that again, we've confirmed that nobody sausage, this is the correct token. We can either swap, limit order, or stop. So let's say we wanted to limit order. What we could do is click limit, buy, and let's go ahead and do custom amount let's say $30. So we're gonna go ahead and click enter. And this is where we can actually set the price of what we want to buy the Nobody Sausage tokens for. So let's say you wanna limit order and you want the price to be a little bit different than the current price, basically wait to auto buy a dip. You can actually do that, so set limit price. We're gonna go ahead and say right now the current price is 0 0.0066. So if we copied the selected text, we can then type in 0065 because we want to get it on a slight discount basically preload the transaction to auto buy any sort of dip getting a slight discount so all i have to do is click enter and then you can see here limit buy the nobody token at 0 0.065 the amount of 30 dollars worth of soul network fee set very high the slippage at three percent mev protect off platform fee included. So we're gonna go ahead and place order. And now we can see the limit order has been placed and you can go ahead and view orders. So that way if you have multiple different of these limit orders, you can go ahead and check those here. So we hit view orders because we only have one, it just shows us our orders. Limit by the nobody token at 0 0.065 per nobody token. And the total amount of soul that we're looking to spend is 0 0.143 soul. Now here, this is our open tab. Once this is filled, we can go ahead and click over here to filled and it will show us all our filled orders. So that way over time, everything is nice and organized. You can check all your filled orders and all your open orders nice and clean. Now also, if you end up making a mistake or you decide, mm, maybe I don't wanna do a limit order right now, maybe I wanna wait or change the limit order in general, you can always click cancel and you should have time before the limit order is activated. While we are waiting for this limit order to go ahead and go through, let's go ahead and make one last purchase and then we're going to immediately sell the token just so I can show you guys the sell process. So for this example, let's go ahead and buy $30 worth of the troll token. So we have swap. We're not doing a limit order this time. We're doing swap buy custom amount 30. So since we want $30 worth in Seoul, we're gonna click enter. Once we do that, we can now see this section here, check mark to $30. Now we would hit review swap. And I know we just did this a couple times, but just talking it over, this will give us 144 troll, $29 worth, all that information there. So we're gonna click swap now. When we hit tokens, you can now see all the different tokens that we earn. So as of right now, we have $52 worth of Seoul left. We have $29 worth of troll and $19 worth of the awoke token. So with the troll token, let me show you how you're gonna sell. So for here, when we look at our tokens, we can actually click troll token. It's gonna show us the amount that we actually have. So here we see we have $28.79 of the troll token. So for this time, instead of buying, if you wanna sell, you just click sell. And you can either pick 100%, 50%, 10%, or a custom percent of your tokens. And you can do the exact same thing for the sales. You could do a limit sell. Let's say right now the price is at 199, but you wanna limit sell it at 0.25. So essentially you can preload it to say, I wanna auto sell after it's gone up 20% in value. So all we would have to do for that if we wanted to would be to limit sell and set the price at 0.25. For this example though, we're gonna just do a straight swap. So here we go, we're gonna to wanna to sell, let's just say 50% of our tokens. So we're gonna go ahead and click review swap. And just like so, that's gonna be 72 tokens. It's gonna to net us 
1369 in Seoul. We can go ahead and click swap now. And again, instantaneous transaction. So we still have $14 worth of troll tokens. So what we're going to do is we're going to click that. We're going to do sell limit order. We want to sell 100% of our tokens and we're going to do the set price at 0.2. So once right now the price is 0.1982, but let's say we want to sell all of the rest of our tokens once it hits 0.2. All you have to do is enter that number in there. It's going to double check. Hey, you want to sell all your tokens once the troll is at 0.2 in value. And we're going to go ahead and click place order. So now we have two different limit orders. We have a limit buy and a limit sell. So as you guys probably remember before, we had the base wallet as well. So we're going to go ahead and click the home screen here. And again, we have all the options, buy, sell, deposit, all of that. What we're going to do is click wallets. Here we can now see our Solana wallet is at $99 and our base wallet is at 105. So we're going to go ahead and click use this wallet. And let's go ahead and buy a token. So all we're going to need to do is type in Brett like so. And it is going to load up the transaction. You can see Brett 458 mil in market cap. We're just going to do a regular swap here. We're going to buy a set number at $25. So we're going to enter that I see 25 here. So we're going to review swap and now we can go ahead and swap. And just like the Solana chain, it's just about instant within one second. Your transaction is complete. Before we continue on with the video, I did want to mention this cog wheel here in the settings. You will see a few different options, network fees, slippage, quick swaps, MEV protect, buy presets and sell presets so plenty of customization options for you to check out now i want to show you the discover tab this is the part that's really really cool because there's so many different options you have the top five trending tokens for either all networks or you can isolate them between eth bsc solana base etc any of the chains that you're wanting to look at, or you can go ahead and click over to CoinGecko. This is actually going to show you the most recent tokens that have launched on that specific chain. So by using this wallet, you can quickly buy the newest tokens as they are listed on CoinGecko or buy any of the most recent trending tokens. So really, really cool integrated feature here that I, for one, am a big fan of. And we just got an alert. Our limit order for that nobody token from earlier has now been fulfilled. Because we did the limit order, we were able to get it at a more of a discount than a buy now option. So really, really cool. That is now complete. Now when we check the view orders, we'll have one open position for troll and one closed position for nobody. Next thing we'll talk about is if you want to transfer any tokens that you hold to another recipient's address, all you have to do is on the main menu here, hit transfer. You'll select the token that you want to transfer, hit the recipient's address and type in the amount. It's quite that simple. Next up, let's talk about bridging. It is quick and simple within the dispense bot. So for our example here, we're going to bridge some ETH on base over to ETH on soul. We'll see the little button here for bridge. Once we have bridge, we can either press one of these preset amounts or we can enter in a custom amount. For our custom amount, we're going to do 0 0.005. You can see here a fraction of a cent for the network fee. And we can also, you know, switch between ETH to base, base to ETH, depending on your needs. And then all you have to do is click bridge now. And for this example, within 30 seconds, the ETH was bridged from base to ETH. We can see that by heading back into tokens and now we can see $22 worth of ETH on ETH and we still have $34 of ETH on base. Last thing we'll talk about is the referral tab here. You'll be able to generate a referral link once you create a wallet and if you share that link with family, friends, etc., and they use the link, you'll get 10% of the trading fees that are generated. And these are claimable across Solana, ETH, BASE, and the BSC. So all in all, really cool feature here. Also, my referral link will be down in the description box below. So I'd be greatly appreciative if you use my link. I do have to say I've tried out a bunch of different Telegram bots and Dispense right now is my number one as far as the customization, the speed, as well as the different features that it offers. All in all, I highly recommend it. If you would like to go ahead and check it out, go ahead and check the description box down below. You can find my referral code as well as all of their links. Now, as always with trading cryptocurrencies, this video is not intended to be financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor and investing in general can be risky. So always do your own research. Now, with that being said, that does about wrap it up for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.